everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So we have yet another Heathkit SB220 here. I'm going to go through it, do all the mods. This thing is pretty much bone stock. Someone tried to fix the metering board at some point. So the air variable cap looks good on the plate side. The SO239s are okay. So let me explain this. Uh, I never fire it up with the old filter caps connected, so I always want to make sure that the filament transformer is okay before I give a quote. So I disconnect the plate secondary leads. I change the capacitor underneath, which I did. That's the old one. And I apply line AC to it, turn it on, and key the relay by shorting the center pin of the RCA jack on the back. So, you know, as long as the relay keys and I don't see any heat coming from the filament transformer, then usually good. So that checked out. And you never want to just plug one of these in, in after you get it where it's been moved around. Look how the these plastic spacers have slid out and the terminals on the bottom two capacitors are actually touching the chassis. So Band switch looks okay. Bottom's like stock, so there's no point. I'm not even going to bother flipping it over. So I'm going to put the Harbach filter cap board in. Harbach metering board. He doesn't want anything else, just those two things. I'll do all the other mods. And it's getting a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome company. Uh, two, three, five hundred Zs. And uh, that's about it. So I also check the meters to make sure they're okay, especially the plate current one. So that one is good. They're both good. So stay tuned. I will see you guys soon. Back with the completed amplifier. So, replace the meter lamp bulbs. I always spread the little clips for the lamp assemblies and I put a dab of silicone between the lamp assembly and the meter. Just keep them from popping out of the meter movement. Remove the outer nuts, brass nuts for the meter connections and tighten up on the inner nuts. They were really loose and then put the outer ones back on. Zip tied all the wiring. Assembled and installed a new Harbach metering board. Assembled and installed a new Harbach filter cap board. Always put the glitch right there so it has airflow around it. Replace the B positive wire going from the Harbach filter cap board to the Harbach metering board. Replace the B negative wire. That's that over there. Clean the input rotary switch with deoxic gold. Output rotary slash band switch with deoxic gold. Replace the plate blocking capacitor. Replace the strap because it wasn't extending all the way to the connection point on the plate choke. So now it goes all the way to it and I always slip the parasitic suppressor leads down the center of the braided material and it's all soldered all really well. These are carbon comp 2 watt 51 ohm resistors. So uh, new solder tabs here and new solder tab here for you know, the connection point between the strap and the plate blocker. So that's about it. I'll flip it over. The fan was fine, so I didn't have to replace that. It's nice and quiet. Okay. See you guys soon. So here's the bottom. I'm gonna make this quick. Grounded the grids. Clean the input TR slash bias relay with deoxic gold. With a self bias modification, ran a new wire from the terminal strip over here over to the coil of the relay. Put a sticky zip tie tab support thing in. Change the electrolytic cap over here for that. Uh, the, 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 uh, for the rectifier that rectifies the winding coming off the filament transformer. So zip tied everything nice, nice. Tighten up on hardware, fix solder joints, and uh, that's about it. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. Website's amprepairguy.com and also harbachelectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great night. 73.